Okay, this orange background that you can see here is what we call the Trello board. This board is called Alicia's Demo because it's a mock-up I've created so I don't accidentally give away any confidential information from work. Uh, but you can call a board whatever you like and this board is set up exactly as my personal and work to do board is set up. Within the board we have what we call lists. So we've got Icebox is a list, meetings to schedule, travel, pending. If I scroll along you can see work in progress, review and done. You can add as many lists as you like and you can call them whatever you like. So you really can customize Trello to be exactly as you need it to be and you know create a board that makes sense for you and your role. I will go through shortly why I call the list what I call them and explain that. Um, but first I'm going to show you cards. Within the lists we have cards. So procedure manual is a card within the icebox list and you can move them around, you can move them to different boards. You can do all kinds of things. Berlin is a card within my travel board. If I scroll along to work in progress, I'm going to show you an example of a card. So summer party booking. If I click on that card, you can see a description. I've labeled it. I'll talk about labels a little bit in a minute. And I've got a checklist happening here. So if I'm planning the staff summer party, you can see that I've confirmed the budget, sourced the venue, chosen the theme, I've looked at invitations and these are other things that I'm still working on now. You can move these, you can put all of your done items at the bottom, you can put them all at the top, you can add whatever you like, you can create multiple um, checklists, you can name your checklist, hide completed items and down here you can um, comment so I've made a comment and a note that I have named the theme Summer Festival, that we agreed on a budget of $4,000. And you can also, this is one I find really handy, is you can add attachments. So I'll attach, maybe it's spreadsheets of guest lists, um, I'll attach email confirmations, uh, there's all kinds of stuff that I attach. You can also add a due date and you will then uh, get reminders and it will change colour when you're getting close to the due date and you will get you can set up an alert so that you get a reminder. If you have other people in your organisation who use Trello, you can add members. So you do not have to have members viewing all of your personal items and your entire board. You can add them to specific boards or specific lists or specific cards. And that way people in your organisation can collaborate on a board with you if you wish. Labels are really a visual tool. Um, they don't serve a huge purpose for me. Um, that might be different for people who I guess are power users of Trello. I use labels so that, for example, if my CEO David um, is involved directly in a meeting or in some travel that I'm looking at, then I will add David's name. So when I'm looking at my board, I have kind of a visual representation of the things that involve him and the things that don't. Let's have a little look at why I call my lists what I call them. Icebox I have for important but non-urgent tasks, things that I'm working on as, as and when, when I get the time. So it could be a procedure manual that it doesn't necessarily have a due date or it does but it's not anytime soon and I'm just adding things to it as I can. I also do have a um, card called Exec Team and it is the entire executive team at my place of business and I keep things such as all of their dietary requirements, I have any allergies or food preferences um, against their name. You could have um, the nearest airport to their home if you book a lot of travel, whether they are aisle or window, any frequent flyers that, um, unless of course your travel agent keeps those for you. So just little bits and pieces that are handy when you're booking things for an entire team of people. Meetings to schedule is quite self-explanatory. Anytime somebody tells me about a meeting, I take down all of the details, pop them on a card, and then um, when I'm looking at my board, I can see that I need to schedule that meeting, but I might not 
have time to do it right at that second. Travel is another obvious one. Um, within travel, I might have lists um, where I'll note down accommodation options. I might put down meetings or just things that I need to consider for that particular trip. You could attach any train tickets or um, confirmations of conference attendance, that kind of stuff. Pending is something that I am working on now, but it is waiting. I can't proceed because of somebody else. So perhaps I'm doing a um, I'm organizing the expenses folder, but I might be waiting on information from the finance team and that's why it's there. So it is important and I am working on it now, but it's pending because I'm waiting on something from somebody else. Work in progress, I am working on right now. Review is where I put things that are done and I'm just waiting for them to be signed off. Um, maybe I'm just waiting to have a meeting about them. So perhaps I've created an investor deck and it just needs to be signed off by the CEO. Or maybe I've written a policy and I'm going to have a meeting to get the final sign off. So it's done and it just needs to be signed off, it's sitting there. Once it is officially done and I have nothing else to do with that task anymore, I will then drag it into done. You could delete it and that's absolutely fine. I just like to have it in done in case I ever need to check anything. It's kind of nice to see what kinds of tasks I've been doing. It allows me to have a look at, sometimes it's easy to forget um, certain things that you've done throughout the year, but that's just another preference. Um, there are so many different ways you can use Trello and I hope this has given you a little bit of an understanding about what you can do. Um, the best way to use Trello is to just sit and play with it and click on all of the different features and see what you need. Some things I need you won't and vice versa. Um, if you have any questions though, please do pop them in the comments below and I will address them directly or maybe I'll make another short video um, if there are lots of questions for things that I haven't covered. You can also join me on the EA How To LinkedIn page. That is a really handy place to hang out because I do post these videos there, but I also post other things more appropriate to LinkedIn and articles. Um, yeah, it's just a nice place to be, so please do. I'll pop a link in the comments section below, in the description below. I'm getting my words mixed up. Please excuse my voice today. I have a cold and so I'm working from home, hence the hoodie and the very stuffy voice. Um, Please do hang out with me on LinkedIn, EA How To, link below, and let me know if you have any questions, pop them in the comments, and I will get back to you. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.